Wednesday and we are back with another video here on a Shih Tzu Life and yes I am wearing the la same clothes in the last couple of videos that I've done because I've literally recorded one after the other and today I thought I would share with you basically Pixie and Ro Roxy's diet. I'm going to just take my hair down just because oh, I've got the start of a migraine and it's not really what I wanted on my day off. My day off. It's not really what what it's not really what I wanted today of all days. Um but sometimes having your hair up dead tight can trigger one so I'm just gonna fling it down and hope for the best and hope that my medication kicks in. But I wanted just to get these videos done today so I basically have a list and I'm working my way through them so I thought I would just vlog one after the other and get all the videos done so I do own other clothes other than this but I thought I would obviously just this is the last video that I've got to do so I thought I would just do it while I was on a roll hello so Pixie and Roxy's diet. Now, as you can probably tell from the title, the, the food that they were on before this just wasn't really for them. Basically, what happened was we were on James Well Beloved, but we were trying with the greens just to see if that made a difference to tear stains or anything like that. Roxy never had any tear stains at the time. Um, but I just wanted to see if it made a difference to her eyes running so much because her eyes still run. Um, it totally constipated them, I'm not going to lie, it totally bunged them up um, having grains and we weaned them onto it um, as we should have. So they were basically changing from the old food to the new food in a space I think it was about a week and a half. Um, it should really be like seven days but we decided just to do it a wee bit more gradually so um, we weaned them onto it and I think they were on it for about two to three weeks and no. Oh, they were on it for about a month yeah they were on it for about a month and it just completely constipated them like they were so bunged up like they literally weren't doing anything um and i wasn't happy with that so i says to jamie i says we just need to make the decision and whatever we go to we just need to try and persevere with and just stick with. So he, I left him to it. We were so close to going back on to A2. Um, when Jamie went to pets at home, they didn't stock it anymore because it basically wasn't selling. So he was so close to picking up Lily's Kitchen again, but then he came across this other brand that he felt was as equal to Lily's Kitchen and wanted to try. So basically they have more flavours than what Lily's Kitchen does but he basically went for a brand called Edgar and & Cooper and this is it here. I think they're quite a new brand um, but the pet you love loves Edgar & Cooper and this is the yummy Norwegian salmon flavour which includes a healthy boost of beetroot, apple, mango, avocado, coconut, spinach and blackcurrant and it's also green free. So Roxy if you get your face away from the bag I'll be able to show everybody. So that is it there, that's the back of the bag. So this is a 2.5 kilogram bag and they have basically almost finished the bag, which is good. Um, this costs us £16.99 um, for a 2.5 kilogram bag. It's less than A2, but it's more, I think it's more than what Lily's Kitchen is. Um, you might hear kids in the background, they've obviously just finished school. Not my kids, I don't have any kids yet, um, but just kids passing by. <laughs> um, so basically it has Norwegian salmon, which is packed with um, quality protein to maintain the muscles. And it's full of omega-3 for soft and shiny coats. It's got natural superfoods, which include beetroot for added fibre, spinach for minerals and nutrients, um, apple and mango for vitamins and biotanical herbs for holistic well-being. 
So this is a really, really good brand. I like it. I've been on, I've researched it, I've done all the work for it, you know, I've been on and looks at the ingredients, why it's good for the dogs, all that kind of stuff. So um they really, really like it. And what I will say is that the the company basically protect the planet. So um Edgar and, Co Edgar and Cooper love the great outdoors so we're doing our best to protect it our bags are made out of 100 percent biodegradable materials which and printed using water-based inks with no nasty chemicals and that's just one of our initiatives so um it's obviously a really healthy food and it's stored in a very healthy bag with edgar and cooper um, they also make sure that 10% of the profits go to charity and we're supporting, they are supporting the dog care clinic in Sri Lanka, no idea where that is, it's like SRI Lanka, um, where millions of dogs live on the street. Um, find out more and then it's got the, the website um, down below so that is that but um, they really really like this food loads of different flavours they've got loads of meat ranges as well for tin foods and um, your trays and things like that I decided to not store the food in the bag just because I had a big massive like crocodile clip on it to keep it shut and it was just sitting on my kitchen, kitchen counter and I absolutely hated it so um, I decided to pull back out my Lily's kitchen tin and store it in here so these are a much flatter biscuit and a much heavier biscuit than James Bell Beloved um, so it doesn't look as much in the bowl than what James Bell Beloved does Pixies Rocks is obviously gagging for a bit but that is the shape of the biscuits there if you can see they are like round biscuits, round flat biscuits that are for us are smaller than a five pence piece. But that is it basically there and they're nice dark in colour. Do you want one then? Yeah, come here. Come here, greedy. Yeah, come here. Can I have a kiss? Kiss. Give me another one. No, no. Get the, ah, your nails. Hey. Give me a kiss. Right, thank you. Cheeky. Come here, Pixie. Pixie, come here. Right, hold on. Give me a kiss. Good girl. Cheeky. They love it so much, they just want to get in about it all. Right, because you'll be getting your dinner soon. Yeah. Oh, you left one, Pixie. There you go. So that is that. So apart from it stinking, I absolutely hate fish. It does smell of fish. Um, but it smells like healthy it doesn't smell like doesn't smell too rich um, it does smell really really good so that is what the girls are on just now they've been on that now for two weeks um, I will be needing to get another bag soon but again we weaned them on to it and they had the seven days on in fact it was just less of seven days because we didn't have that much James Will Beloved left and I wasn't buying a brand new bag to basically wean them off it to hardly use the bag um, so we just had to do with what we got um, but I will have the link down below in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check them out they do the dry food, they do puppy food, adult food and senior food they do the trays, um, they do tins and they also have brought out a whole load of treats as well so all in all I love this brand I would say it's as good as what Lily's Kitchen was I'm hoping that the tear stains will stay away with them. Um, I'm going to just need to wait and see. Um, obviously, she's done so well with her face that the tear stains are now gone. And I think that's because the groomers have cut 
basically all of this away, all the tash away down at the bottom for the tear stains to be totally gone because we were literally just growing the hair out and that's one of the reasons why I wanted our tash so short was to try and get rid of it but usually the staining comes in, let me see usually the staining comes in at the top of the eye where the eye sits wet and her eyes do run constantly um, it's something that has always been the case and her eyes do stink but it's just not staining the hair anymore and I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it's down to the diet, I don't know if it's down to the level of protein. It could well be because whenever they were on A2 it was a high protein, higher than what Lily's Kitchen and what this is. So it could be the level of protein that's caused tear stains. It's certainly not greens to green free. I feel as if it's not that um, and it's certainly nothing to do with the flavours either. So. I really don't know what the deal is, but it's the moment I see tear stains coming back, I know it could be down to the food or just something that's maybe going on with her, so I really don't know, but long may it continue with te no tear stains because your face is just pristine, pristine, yes, come here, come here. Come here, let everybody see you. No, 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 don't roll over for a belly rub. Come here. Oh, there. There. <laughs> so, mm, you greedy? You're greedy, aren't you? Very greedy. Greedy girl, go and get your dinner soon. Are you? I can't fill her. I just, I really can. I cannot fill her at all. She just, she eats everything and she's in it everything. I just cannot fill her. I really don't know what the problem is. But yes, thank you very much you guys for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video or in Roxy's case, a pause up if you like this video. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this brand before um, and if you guys have tried it, if you like it, if you don't, what your thoughts are on it. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye-bye.